So in preparation for this episode, I looked it up and it turns out that Delicate Arch wasn't actually made by millions of years of erosion and corrosion. It's actually built by the famous artist from Suganda, Eden Bofa. And oh man, there it is, whoa. Look at that. Whoa. Oh man. Welcome back to Sunday Strolls. We're here at Arches National Park. We sent it down last night and slept in the car. We're gonna try and do a little strolls around here at Arches. We're gonna start with Delicate Arch and then uh, see what else we can hit. I brought two cameras because it felt like an appropriate occasion. I mean, episode 20. We got the Leica M6 with the Voigtlander 35. Returning back to the show, the Hasselblad X-Pan. We're gonna be doing Cinestill 400D in both cameras. We're loaded up, ready to roll. Okay, it's about a mile hike in. Not too many people here. I tried to beat some of the crowd. Slept in the back of the car last night. It was it sucked. Let's start off with the X-Pan and get a nice pano of it. Uh, five, six out of two fiftieth. Three, two. Oh man, look at it. That's crazy. Let's go creep up on it and see how it looks. I've seen bigger. Might as well get a shot of that. Three, two. The sun's just peeking through here. This girl is kind of nice, framed up though in the foreground. Here we go, three, two. I'm gonna pop one off with the X pan here. I like the daddy pan. Three, two. All right. Okay. We made it up to the top. It's fun. I thought you'd be able to see a little more c clear of a trail, but not really. Here we go. God, this is bad. 125th and an F8. Here we go. Three, two. Okay, let's keep going. I'm going to be honest. These shoes are terrible for hiking in. They do look good, though. Okay, look how pretty that is. Well, let's do a 500th and a 5.6. Look at the clouds going. Okay, here we go. Three, two. I think that one's gonna be pretty good. Let's do a thousand out of, out of five, six, huh? Here we go, three, two. I think this is actually the house Eden Bofa and her team lived while working on Delicate Arch. Oh, the chug chug. We're gonna do the panoramic, get this bench here and all that tree trunk right there with all the snow on it. Back up just a bit. This log, whoa, almost fell. I'm trying to expose a half stop over. Here we go. Three, two. We'll see if this Cine Still 400D is the move. All right, let's keep going. Whoa. Okay, came around the corner. There's some nice light going right there. Three, two. That was it a F4 at a 250. Oh, man, look at that. Honestly, that's where he's getting a shot up right there. I'm gonna quickly do it before these people show up. Five, six, eight split, how about that? Three, two. I think I just got it just before those people came around the corner. I'm liking this subject here, these trees. Five, six, eight at a 500. Yeah, that puts us like a half stop over. Here we go, three, two. I need to find something that's a little more isolating. I felt like these trees were still a little too busy. Here's an arch, the pine tree arch, and it kind of creates a nice little frame within a frame there. Let's do a five, six, eight split. The pine tree arched sign. Three, two. Oh, 
Let's go see what else we can find. Looks like a little submarine poking up out of the water. Phonies, bro, phonies. So we're gonna do a five, six, eight at a thousand. Three, two, one. It's probably ass, but you do what you can. Okay, I'm kind of liking this little V. We shot these trees before, but I'm on my way out of this part of the park. I thought I'd give it another shot here. Why well, I like to be like a half stop over. Three, two. I think that's, the subject's just a little more defined. I think that'll be nice. I mean, it is just a picture of some tree trunks. So how good can it actually be? I think it's better than the first one we got of those two trees. Man, you might as well take a picture of an outhouse when you can. Here we go, F11 at a thousand. Three, two. <laughs> flames. That one's just gonna be flames. Oh, this is pretty in here. Got all the light coming through. Yeah, let's do a five, six at a two fiftieth. I think this calls for really wide lens. A lens I don't have, but I will try my best with a 35. 284 split into 250. 3, 2, 1. I think it needs to be much wider. This big bush behind me is kind of nice. The problem is I want to be higher up. This is kind of nice. Ruining all the crypto bionic soil. I want to be at like an F11. I'm gonna have a deep focus and a 60th of a shutter. Here we go. Three, two, one. There's some mountains going in the background that have a bunch of snow on them, and then it'd be cool to put those in the background with some red rock in the foreground. I think that'll make for a nice, interesting composition. This is my first attempt of getting some red rock, but then those. Just more classic looking mountains in the background. We're back on the X-Pan. Like an F11 and a thousand. Three, two. I don't know, I'm gonna try and find a better shot. All right, found another little spot here. I like all the red rocks going and then all the snowy mountains in the background. I'm gonna give that a shot, see how it goes. At an F11, at a thousand, three, And maybe you do one where you creep the fence in here. I think that'll be cool, actually. Three, two, one. I think that'll be pretty good. I think the fence might add a little special sauce to it. All right, I'm clearly not giving up on this red rock, snowy mountains in the background. So I found another spot. Red rock's coming down, red rock's coming down, and in the middle of that kind of viewpoint, there's some snowy mountains in the background. I'm gonna go 811 split at a thousand. Three, two. One of them's gotta work out, right? Whew, look at that thing, bro. Barely hanging on. It's captured on the M6. All right, we're gonna do F11 at a 500th. Let's just frame it up by itself there. Here we go. No, no I like it with its buddy there. There we go. Three, two. Bob Ross would want that rock to have a friend. Here's a nice panoramic. You got the fun red rocks. I'm just hooked on this shot, dude. I'm gonna get it. Three, two, one. That was it. An 811 split at a thousand. I think that'll be pretty good. All right, I honestly like how that rock looks. That's got the one side lit up. The five, six, eight at a 500. You got a three, two, one. Man, just look at that. It's crazy, like that exists somewhere. That's gnarly. We're gonna get it on the X-Pan here. I might even go up a little and go get a little bit of that. There's a sign right there. Go get that little curved street sign. So we'll see. Shot on the X-Pan, and I think I want to do it. 
see that? You got a little fire, or the, <laughs> you got the little stop sign there. And the red rock, the tree right next to it. We're gonna try and frame something up right there. Back up just a hair too. There to be no cars. And we get more depth out of it coming this way. Three, two, Two rolls of Cine still, 400D. <sighs> Another one down. This one was a little tough. I feel like I struggled to find subjects. I guess the subjects were just, you know, all the big red rocks. They might just come across as boring, honestly. So we'll see when they, when I go get them scanned. It was interesting having the two cameras. For the X-Pan, I wish I had my 90 mil, because I felt like I would frame something up and go, man, I just wish I was closer. And I just, you know, you can't really walk wherever here. You gotta stay, stay somewhat on the trail. So it was just tough to try and find subjects and hopefully things pop. I don't know, we'll see. The X-Pans is so rad though that most anything looks pretty good on it. That delicate arch in the morning, I wish I really got some hard light on it. It kind of came through right as I was leaving, but I was kind of running out of time there and I needed to go get up some other spots. But man, it's just crazy to a place like this exists. This is gnarly. I think my favorite shot, I think my favorite shot's gonna be that close up of the tree. It was the V coming out and their shadows were going. I think that or either something there or in the sand dune arch. Is that what it was called? Anyway, there was some really cool light being tossed. It was like the big long channel. And there was the green bush. Oh no, that's gonna be my favorite shot. It was the green bush with the two little kids up on the rocks behind it in that sea of red. That was pretty cool. If you guys are digging Sunday strolls, like this video, comment your favorite photo, leave a photography tip and uh, subscribe to follow along and uh, go out and shoot something. Go take some photos. All right.